that's for you. Yeah. No, it was a special gift. Call the meeting, the second regular meeting of the Common Council to order. Uh, Madam City Clerk, would you please call the roll? Bauman? Here. D. Berg? Here. E. Berg? Here. Serta? Here. Davis? Here. Graf? Here. Kittleson? Excuse? Manny? Here. Meyer? Here. Montemayor? Here. Radke? Here. Sigali? Here. Stefan? Here. Susha? Here. And Vanderweel? Here. 14 present. Quorum's present. Approval of the minutes, Alderman Groff. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that the minutes of the previous Common Council, um, that we dispense with the reading of the minutes of the previous Common Council meeting from April 19th, and the same stand approved is entered on the record. There's a motion to second and under discussion. If not, all those in favor state aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. At this time, I, I'd ask uh, Alderman Bauman to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. Please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Alderman Bowen. <clears throat> Alderman Berg, did you have uh, something to say? Did yes, I do. Wait, wait, wait. We, we don't. Pardon? What is this in regards to now? I am going to request a a roll call vote on the confirmation of the appointments of each of the standing committees separately. When I looked at these committee makeup, I saw some older persons who were hardworking, dedicated to their committee and went beyond the norm. These were very good committees that worked well together and with the department heads. Some of these older persons were shown disrespect and nothing short of being slapped in the face and on the special committee uh, boards and commissions, I would like a separate roll call vote on the Board of Police and Fire Commissions because of the possible conflict of interest with the husband and wife, especially when closed sessions come into play. Also for the Building Use Committee. And there's two other committees that were looked at and I received some literature from some people that stopped by my house that they got off the internet on a certain older person on two of these committees and they don't understand why that person is on these committees. But I said I will get, I will get back to them later on this and we'll, we'll see what we can work out. Right now, out of uh, all the new older persons that have been elected, I think we can work together because there's two of them here that really know what they're probably going to be doing is Alderman Alden, Eldon Berg with his experience and older person Gene Davis with all the years that he's had on the county board. I've worked with him and he knows what he's doing. So I say if we're going to have any unity or any compromise and getting along together on this council, the leader's got to show and lead by example and not by intimidation. Thank you. statement. Thank you, Alderman Berg. This time we will uh, go to confirmation of mayor's appointments to standing committees. Alderman Groff. Thank you, Your Honor. I would move that this council confirms your the mayor's appointments to the standing committees. There will be a roll call under discussion. Alderman Meyer. I thank you, Mayor, for your candid and open discussion with me regarding a previous encounter with the Sheboygan County Sheriff's Department and for your concerns and Chief Kirk's concerns 
with me serving in the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Thank you also for your professional advice. At this time, I would like to share with my colleagues in this Common Council and the public what I shared with you. About seven years ago, I was cited for possession of marijuana, which is a misdemeanor. I was not handcuffed, taken to jail, photographed, or fingerprinted. I was allowed to continue enjoying myself at the county picnic. I was given a ticket and I paid it. These charges were later dismissed. Because I was upset that I got a ticket, I also made a stupid comment that marijuana should be legal. Obviously, I do not believe that. This happened a long time ago, and I made a stupid mistake. I am a better person because of that mistake, and I believe that had, that I have had, and I've, excuse me, and I have had no other encounters with the police since then. I thank you also, Mayor, for encouraging me to be open and for trusting me that I can do a great job as a member of the Public Protection and Safety Committee. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Meyer. Alderman Vanderweel. Thank you, Your Honor. And thank you, Alderman Meyer, that took a lot of courage. I just wanted to say that um, this isn't about what committee I'm on or not on. It's not about what position I hold in council. I only care about what is best for the city. I have worked on Public Protection and Safety for three years and I know what this committee does. Until a couple hours ago, I was going to vote for all of these appointments. I didn't agree with some of them, but because I believe in compromise and working together with the council, I was going to vote for them. One thing about these appointments kept bothering me that I couldn't stop thinking about. The fact that Mayor Perez chose to totally reorganize public protection and safety does not sit well with me. PPNS is a committee that works directly with the people of our city to problem solve and make neighborhoods a better place to live. I believe that the city as a whole will suffer with no senior members on this committee. I feel that our mayor formed this committee based on revenge and favoritism. When we vote on this committee tonight, we are not saying that any of our aldermen will do a poor job. We are simply asking the mayor to stop running our city based on revenge and favoritism. We need to do things by working together and by compromising. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Vanderweel. Alderman Sigali. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I'm sorry that I'm sitting. Uh, as you probably know, Mr. Mayor, I'm disappointed in losing my positions on the um, public protection and safety and, and uh, public works. I have served those committees when, well, and I have done my homework and I made sure what I was voting on. Not only did I help the people in my district, but I also helped the people in the community. If I remember correctly, Mr. Mayor, you stated that we should not only listen to our constituents in our district, but to listen to the whole community. I was hoping that you would think this of all of us who were on our committee, and I'm hoping that you did not make that statement just on the Sheridan Park issue. You want this council to work together. What better way of showing the voters of Sheboygan than to combine the new with the old and this should have been done on all of the committees, but it wasn't, in, but it wasn't. Instead, not only do we have a divided council now, but we seem to have a divided community. Thank you. Thank you, Alderman Sigali. Alderman Serda. Thank you, Your Honor. I would also like to address the issue of the committee appointments this evening. I like to think that I am a team player, and by doing so, I deliberately did not try to influence your decision, Mayor, by contacting you as to where I thought you should place me in according to your committee appointments. It was my way of extending good faith to you and working together, giving your statement last week regarding having a smooth transition. I admit I was somewhat hopeful that you would take the lead in setting this precedence. However, it is very self-evident that you deliberately underutilize certain older persons on the committees. More disturbing is your decision to replace a dedicated citizen like Mr. DeMontier, who has served our community on the Police and Fire Commission Board for 20 years under multiple mayors, mind you, only to be replaced with no apparent reason than stacking the cards in your favor. I make these statements to hold you accountable in leading this city with integrity and specifically smoothing um, making smooth transitions, which you felt was of importance. Lastly, I want you to realize that your position today in the Sheboygan Press in regards to the second district seat vacancy 
only confirms that your willingness to work with individuals that don't agree with you is in serious jeopardy. Thank you. Just as a point uh, before we take the vote, point of clarification, uh, the responsibility of the appointments lies in the mayor, who is an elected official. There are times when a mayor, in this case, is one, and then this is one instance where the mayor may not appoint someone to a committee that they would like to be. Some will be happy, some will not be happy. That's just the way it is. It is difficult to please everyone. It is difficult to take all factors into consideration. I needed to take certain factors into consideration, and I did that. The law gives me that responsibility. I, like you, tell me that you want to do what's best. I do, too. And if because I didn't appoint someone to a committee that he or she would like to have been appointed does not mean I don't care about this community, does not mean I don't care about teamwork, does not mean we're not going to lead this community forward. We will. I am asked to show you teamwork and demonstrate leadership. I ask the same of you. It takes two people, two parties, to get that going. We have a year to go. We work together in unity, in the spirit of teamwork, and anything can happen. I have a lot to prove. So do others have a lot to prove. The last time I was appointed to a committee I did not want to be in, and I wasn't appointed to a committee I did want to be in, I said that is not my call to make. I will respect that call. I will serve in the committee I serve, and I will prove myself. And I did. And I just wanted the alderman to understand that. Also, with respect to the uh, appointment of Alderman Meyer, I did consult with our, our city attorney, and it was made very clear to me that there was no illegality involved. All my appointments are legal, and they're subject to my call. And I have that sole responsibility to the community to make those appointments as best as I see fit. And I intend to do that every time. I'd ask that uh, Attorney McLean just explain a little bit about the, uh, the appointments with respect to if there's any illegality. Well, uh, thank you, Mayor. Uh, two things, uh, you know, basic uh, uh, to the appointments. Uh, it's the mayor's prerogative to appoint. Uh, the role of the council is to confirm or not confirm. Uh, but the mayor makes the appointments. Uh, as far as carrying out the duties, uh, you're all sworn to carry out the duties uh, of the office of alder person to the best of your ability. Uh, I'm sure you will all do that, uh, regardless of your uh, personal feelings, personal backgrounds, uh, history seven years ago or 10 years ago or 30 years ago. Uh, you know, uh, yeah, you can't run for elected office if you're a convicted felon, but that's really the only requirement you've got. Uh, you know, whether you've got uh, some misdemeanor in your background a long time ago or not uh, really isn't relevant to uh, whether you can serve on a particular committee or not. Thank you. Thank you, City Attorney McLean. Is there any other discussion? If not, we'll take a vote. Uh, Madam City Clerk, would you please call the roll? Uh, Mayor, could you please clarify, do we want to vote on each of the individual <clears throat> standing committees? Or are we voting as a one blanket standing committee? How I believe I understood one blanket with the standing committees and a division on the appointment special committees. Alderman Berg, is that correct? I just I need to be to clarified. Separate roll call vote on each standing committee and on those and the police and fire. Okay, and building use. And building use. So you want a separate roll call on finance, a separate roll call on Correct. public all the way down the list. Correct. That, Please do. Thank you. No, no, just on the committee as a whole. Is that what you're asking? <clears throat> okay. Cool. You need to take a vote on that as to whether. Okay. Alderman Berg, would you, would you please make a motion to that effect? Thank you, Your Honor. I make a motion that we take a roll call vote on each separate standing committee and also a separate roll call vote 
on the police and fire commission position and the building youth. Okay, and, and then I'm sorry, Alderman Burke, that you'll have to make that motion with the next item on the okay. agenda. For now, we'll make a motion to our separate uh, separate vote and roll call on each standing committee. Is there a second? Second. second. All those in favor, please state aye. 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 Any opposed? Motion carries. Okay. So. Okay, the first one we'll be voting on is um, the Committee on Finance. I'll call the roll. Bauman. Aye. Deberg. Aye. Everybody understands an I vote is to confirm. Okay. An I vote is what? An I vote would be to confirm those standing, that standing committee. <coughs> Deberg, you said aye? Yes. Okay. Deberg. Aye. Serta. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sigali. Aye. Stefan. Aye. Susha. Aye. And Vanderweel. <coughs> All right, finance is 14 eyes. Now, before we get too far along on this, uh, bear in mind that, uh, you know, this is gonna, could create problems here if you go all the way down the list and you would not, say, confirm law and licensing committee. You've got confirmed committees all the way down. If you don't confirm that one, you're gonna run into situations where you can't now jigger appointments. So. Uh, uh, council, bear that in mind, I think, when you're voting on these things, that uh, this, you know, the mayor looks at this and has to put it together as a package because you've got rules that all of them can only be on, you know, maximum of two committees, got to be on at least one, and uh, if you start picking and choosing, it's going to be, uh, going to potentially create some problems here. So, I think, bear that in mind on your vote. <coughs> Holdenberg. Uh, yes, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, I guess I'd request uh, a clarification from, from Attorney McLean. What specifically would be the outcome were uh, a committee appointment, say, not to prevail? In other words, all the other committees would operate, but say, for example, suppose public works, uh, would the, that the council would uh, uh, not hold with the appointments at, of public works. What would be the outcome and the implication for, uh, for governance? Public Works Committee wouldn't be able to meet until the appointments were confirmed. Mm -hmm. um, then you might have the other issue of, uh, that I just brought up is <coughs> if you won't confirm that <coughs> makeup, can you make up a committee uh, under the current requirements uh, from other people? So that's that's going to be an issue. Um, but that, that would be the bottom line, is uh, that committee wouldn't be able to meet. Thank you. Alderman Benner Wheely. Thank you, Your Honor. Uh, question for Attorney McLean. Now, the mayor can move any alderman in any committee at any time if the council approves it, right? Correct? Uh, no, Alderman Benner Wheely, you've got in the ordinances where Alderman has to be on at least one standing committee right. and can't be on more than two. But if you mean within those parameters, yes. Okay. Thank you. Alderman Graf. Thank you, Your Honor. Also, if if one committee would not be appointed this evening, wouldn't that committee have to meet with all of us deciding what issues are supposed to because I believe normally it would be if I can recall once eight years ago or whatever it was that the, the committee appointments were not confirmed. So for one of our first meetings, we all had to meet and discuss the issues of finance, public protection and safety, um, public works, et cetera. And if that would be the case, the committee of the whole would have to meet as that committee. Is that correct? Right. Uh, the committee of the whole could meet at any time because uh, that's, that's all the aldermen and that doesn't require Alderman okay. confirmation. So. And my other question is... So even if you didn't approve any of the committee, standing committee meeting, uh, members? I know last year this was done, and I, I don't know if it was, was correct or not, but uh, what we had was we had several people that could
could no longer work on one of the standing committees. So they and the mayor got together and they created a switch which the council approved of about midterm or something. And that is still something that's possible if, if uh, there's a, a conflict or something. Um, if they go to the, the mayor, I'm sure he would um, look at it as, as, um, as something that um, he would consider doing if, if there was a logical reason for doing it. Um, is that correct also? We can still do that yes. at some future date. Thank you. Please continue. <clears throat> okay, next on the list, I'll just go right down the list. Uh, next one is confirming public protection and safety, and I vote would be to confirm. Okay, we all clear on that? Bauman. Aye. Deberg. No. Eberg. No. Serta. No. Davis. No. Groff. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sagali. No. Stefan. Aye. Susha. Aye. Vanderweel. No. Eight eyes, six no's. Next, public work. Excuse me. Alderman, um, City Attorney McLean. The, uh, the statutes require that a majority of all members is necessary to confirm. I reviewed the handbook uh, for municipal officials this morning. Uh, all the members has been uh, interpreted by the courts to mean all the members, that's all 16. So you need at least nine votes to confirm the appointments. So eight, even though it's a majority of those present, eight eyes doesn't uh, confirm the appointments. Non-confirm, move along. Okay. All right, next on the list is public works. Um, Bauman. Aye. Deberg. Aye. Eberg. Aye. Serta. Aye. Davis. Aye. Graf. Aye. Manny. Aye. Meyer. Aye. Montemayor. Aye. Radke. Aye. Sagali. Aye. Stefan. Aye. Susha. Aye. And Vanderweel. Aye. 14 ayes. Next one is salary and grievances. Bauman, Aye. Deberg, Aye. Eberg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Sagali, Aye. <clears throat> Stefan, Aye. Susha, Aye. and Vanderweel. 14 eyes. And the last one would be law and licensing. Bauman. Deberg, Aye. Eberg, Aye. Serta, Aye. Davis, Aye. Graf, Aye. Manny, Aye. Meyer, Aye. Montemayor, Aye. Radke, Aye. Sagali, Aye. Stefan, Aye. Susha, Aye. and Vanderweel. Aye. 14 eyes. <clears throat> Is this about Alderman Montemayor? Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, is this the correct time then? As long as public protection and safety has not been confirmed, shall I set a committee of the whole meeting so we take care of it? No? Yes? Okay. That's thank another you. issue. Thank you. Okay. We will proceed. Confirmation of mayor's. Alderman McGrath, my Thank apologies. You. At this time, I did want you to do that only because I'd like at this time to ask any of the, um, the there were seven that voted no, or six, six that voted. Mm, yes. Would any of those six like, like to make a motion to reconsider so that we could get this, this passed this evening? Alderman Stephan. Uh, a point of order. Wouldn't the motion to reconsider have to come from somebody on the winning side, actually? Well, the, I guess the winning side and that vote was not to confirm. It said it vote no. <coughs> oh, okay, that's what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. No, we had less votes this winning side. <laughs> if, if, I would, I would just like. Hold <laughs> on, Manny. Thank you, Adam. 
quick question for uh, City Attorney McLean. <clears throat> Would it be possible at this point if the mayor uh, offered another name in nomination and, and uh, pulled one name that's currently on the list, could we then consider that with the one person change? Um, that would be possible if the council was willing to suspend the rules and if the mayor was willing to do that. So <laughs> At least we know and it's to the mayor if he wants to make that suggestion. <laughs> I want to make one thing perfectly clear. I want to work with this council. I will not ever try to call your shots. Don't try to call mine, okay? I want to work together. It's just not going to work. We talk about cooperation. We can't talk about cooperation and half what just happened today. It's going to be very difficult. I want to sit down and when we get business together, if the confirmation is not done with the uh, police, uh, public protection and safety, we're going to move on, and then the council has a decision to make as to how they want to conduct that business, and the, the public will have to respond to that. You need a strong mayor here. You're asking me to be strong. I cannot be crippled by actions that usurp the province of the mayor. If this council does not wish to respect it, I'll accept it. But we need to move on. We cannot talk about working together and doing exactly what you've done tonight. That's not working together. We will move on. Confirmation of mayor's appointments to special committees, boards, and commissions. And I believe we need a motion for a, a roll call on building use committee. How did they want to do that? Alderman Graf? Yeah, Your Honor. Thank you. Um, I would move that we confirm the mayor's appointments to standing to um, special committees, boards, and commissions, and that would include the list from April 19th, which is I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration. It's a letter, as well as to honorable members of the Common Council, the, the listing, the multiple, multiple page listing. I believe there's eight pages on that. Those two documents, the motion covers. There's a sec motion and a second. Under discussion, Alma Berg. Deberg. Well, shouldn't we vote? All right. I move that we have a roll call vote just on those two. Is on the police and fire commission and building the use. building use. The rest all fine and dandy. There's a motion and a second. Under discussion, Alderman Susha. Yes, I'd like to ask uh, City Attorney McLean if it is illegal to have my husband on the Board of Police and Fire Commissioners. Uh, in my opinion, it's not. I, I don't see that there's conflict. Now, maybe mm -hmm. somewhere down the road, to, you know, hypothetically could be an issue that may create a conflict in a particular vote or something, but uh, that wouldn't require or preclude uh, your husband from serving on the Police and Fire Commission. <coughs> Am I legally required to abstain from this vote? No. Thank you. There is a motion and a second to uh, have a separate roll call. And did you want to say something? Yeah, the well, is that part of it too? Yeah. Okay. Madam Clerk. Okay, just uh, on your packet, under discussion. This is under discussion. On your packet, I have an explanation of the few changes that were made. If we could just go through them so that you understand. Um, <clears throat> the first one is on your pack that is stapled. That would be the changes listed under there. What we did was we added in all the elected positions from Tuesday night's meeting. So city plan commission, the person that was elected, board of contract examiners. That has been updated, so that's new in here. The other, the only other thing that changed would be on the um, harbor or the marina and harbor committee. The makeup of that was not right when we did the first one, so we've adjusted it to have the right members from the right areas. So that's the only other change that has happened on this stapled sheet. And um, I just need you to know also that the reason there was a change in the harbor one had nothing to do with the mayor making a mistake, had nothing to do with the mayor's office making a mistake. This comes down to my office, who um, for the past year has been at 50% staff, and we missed it. So that's why Mary got the wrong information. So it's totally our fault. So just so you know, it's nobody else's fault but the clerk's office. So we did make a mistake in not updating Mary's record. So that's why that had to be changed. And that's all that happened on that one. 
on the sheet of appointments, that letter, the two things that you'll notice are changed on there is towards the bottom. Uh, second from the bottom, um, Tom Paneski has withdrawn his membership on the library board. And the bottom one, um, Alderman Sigali was added to the Industrial Development Commission to fill the unexpired term of the former Alderman Bonet that needed to be filled. Those are the only two changes on this letter. And that was it, just so you know what the changes are. And there was another error made on my part, and that was the, uh, the error regarding uh, Ms. Jo Bonet, who served in the library board. It was, it was a, a, a pretty rushed time trying to get these appointments made. There's a lot of work that needed to be done, a lot of people needed to be called. And we had four letters from different individuals submitting resignations. One of them was from uh, Ms. Bonet, and it was from a different committee and I made the mistake, and subsequent to that, the following morning, I issued out a letter of apology uh, to Ms. Bonet, and that was the, uh, the mistake that was made. I take full responsibility for that, but it was corrected, and uh, we shall move on. Thank you. We'll take the, uh, we'll, okay. okay. We'll take a vote on the- Just uh, the Board and Police and Fire Commission mm -hmm. separate? <clears throat> okay. Roll call. Okay, this vote will be <clears throat> on just the Board of Police and Fire Commissioners, and this an I vote would be to confirm that small section in this grouping here. Bauman? Aye. Aye. Okay. D. Berg? Uh, uh, no. E. Berg? Aye. Serta? No. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Sagali? No. Stefan? No. Susha? Aye. Vanderweel? No. Uh, nine to five. Motion carries. Appointments confirmed. Yes. The we next one would be building use. Okay. Same thing. I vote would be to confirm what's in your packet. Bauman? D. Berg? No. <clears throat> e. Berg? Aye. Serta? No. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Mont uh, I'm sorry, Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Sigali? No. Stefan? Aye. Susha? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 11 ayes, 3 noes. Motion carries, committee confirmed. And we will move on. Uh, need, a, need a motion to uh, confirm the full uh, appointments that have been left over, Alderman Graf? I would move to confirm all the rest of the appointments. Second. The motion to second confirm under discussion? Second. Second. Under discussion? Alderman Serta. Thank you, Your Honor. I just want to make it clear that I was not questioning your authority this evening. I was just questioning your discretion. And I don't want this to be said that, I just to think we're on a slippery slope that when individuals question authority, that that's perceived as going against the grain. And I would hope that individuals would continue to ask questions. That's what makes, makes for a better government. But I am, I'm fully trusted that I can voice my opinion and I can move under your leadership. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you, Alderman Serta. <clears throat> Any other discussion? Alderman Sigali. I'll try to stand. If I could ask a question is why weren't we, why us aldermen weren't even called to ask about the committees or what committees we were put on, that we just had to wait and see what we were put on or if we were going to be on the same committees. I guess if I was, I'm thinking to myself that if you want to bring a council together, you need to discuss things with the council. And that wasn't done. And I guess that's, as I am questioning why that we weren't even contacted. Whether we like the committees you put us on or not, that, that's not the point. The point is that we were never even asked or even said, I'm going to put you on this committee and that committee. You, d you didn't even do that for us. Now, I guess I'm asking why. 
there again, there are a lot of things that I will do as, a, as the executive, and there's a lot of things that you will do as a legislator. Sometimes you'll have your reasons, and sometimes I'll have mine. In this case, I had mine. When I, when I, I have been an alderman for about four years before I became mayor, I was never once consulted as to which committee I wanted to be. So, protocol would dictate that you follow the same procedure that has been followed before. Not once did I hear from any of you ask, Mayor, would you please consider me in this, in this position other than from one individual that I believe uh, asked me. And it was Alderman Vanderweel who called me at home and asked to meet with me at my house. And I walked him into my house and that was it. But no other person called me and said, no other alderman said, let's talk about those appointments. Had you done that, I would have done so. You didn't. Okay, where are we? We're on <clears throat> the confirmation of all the rest of the appointments. We have a motion on the floor. Okay. We okay. a roll call. Sure. Bauman? Aye. Berg. Aye. Eberg. Aye. Serta? Aye. Davis? Aye. Graf? Aye. Manny? Aye. Meyer? Aye. Montemayor? Aye. Radke? Aye. Sigali? Aye. Stefan? Aye. Susha? Aye. And Vanderweel? Aye. 14 ayes. <laughs> Confirmations approved. Alderman Groff. Thank you, Your Honor. Once more, I'd be remiss in my duty if I wouldn't ask one more time if any of the six aldermen that voted against the public protection and safety appointments um, would care to ask for a motion to reconsider at this time. Alderman Vanderweel. Uh, this isn't on that subject. Okay. So I'll withhold. Okay, Alderman Serta. I think this would be an extension of goodwill and allow the mayor to go ahead and do that himself and then bring it back. Give him some time to put it together, the committee. We don't necessarily have to do that today. I think that would be a good extension of goodwill. Thank you. Alderman Manuel. Thank you, Your Honor. Um, I'm changing the subject. But there's a lot of people in the gallery, and I just would ask uh, our city clerk to explain why there was no public forum tonight. Oh, I'd be glad to. Um, in our ordinances, it states that this specific meeting is strictly for confirmation of appointments. Nothing else can happen other than obviously the Pledge of Allegiance, and that's it. That's why there's no public forum tonight. We did check on that. Just Thank so you know. Alan Berg. Yeah, before we leave for the night, I think uh, we should congratulate Mike Kinzel, the newsman, for getting his award of excellence for news reporting. Yay. We still need a vote. We still need a vote. We're done? We already did that. Okay. Yeah. I would move to adjourn. Uh, Second. Okay. What, what, what? Well, well, I would, we got one thing. We'll, we'll keep that motion and second pending, if you don't mind, please. Would any chairperson like to inform their committees about their meeting times? Alderman Bauman. Thank you, Your Honor. The uh, Public Works Committee will be meeting as usual in the same dates as on the past. It'll be the first and third Thursdays of the week, beginning in the third floor conference room at 5.15 p.m. Please bring and keep all of your Public Works documents and bring them to the meetings. Thank you, Dennis. Thank you, Alderman Bauman. Alderman Groff. Thank you, Your Honor. Finance will continue to meet on the second and fourth Monday at 5.15. Thank you, Alderman Groff. For all the uh, other chairpersons, I'm sure uh, the alderman will be contacted. Well, we got one more. Alderman Berg. Yes, thank you, Your Honor. Uh, salary and grievances will meet on the first and third Wednesday at 4 p.m. at a location to be determined. Thank you, Alderman Berg. Alderman Manny. Thank you. And law and licensing will meet on the second and fourth Tuesdays at 5 o'clock, police conference room. Thank you. There's already motion to say. <laughs> Dennis, you lost it. Is that it? All those in favor to adjourn, state aye. Yes. We stand adjourned.